G'day guys. Hey, um, a lot of these uh, GPX 4500s are um, failing lately. And uh, it um, seems to be a very common fault. There's a MOSFET uh, down there with a bit of uh, white paint on it. Which I'll um, point out. That one there, I've actually replaced him, uh, but the original one had failed, it would go short circuit and the detector won't pick up anything. And I was trying to work out why these things keep failing, so it's got a, uh, it's part of the uh, clamp system that um, um, clamps the uh, flyback voltage from the coil after it uh, uh, goes through these two diodes here. And, uh, it's got a um, feedback uh, circuit, keeps it at about 175, 185 volts. Um, depends, um, over the years I've seen it uh, clamped at different voltages. It's 175, 185 volt. I think most of these are 185 volts. Uh, but the, the um, fetting there is only rated at 200 volts, so it's got 15 volts. Um, you know, of margin. But what I've discovered, so I've got the oscilloscope here hooked up um, across the MOSFET, basically looking at the clamp voltage. And I've got to run this oscilloscope very, very fast here. We'll do 1.5 gigahertz. So at the moment, I've got it set at two nanoseconds on the um, time scale. I'll just give you a look at uh, the waveform and uh, what happens. First of all, turn the detector on. I've got a um, a uh, ten times probe. I've just got a resistor in series, just to limit it a bit. I've adjusted the oscilloscope so that uh, it is um, resting at 185 volts on the centre line, and we're 20 volts of division. So what we'll do, I'll put on the analog persistence. So you can see there, if there's any jump ups, it'll hold it there on those um, little spikes. But you can see already with the uh, detector just uh, running, it has gone up to about 195 volts. It's just under that 20 volt per division line. So I've got the persistence there, so you can actually see it. They're very, very fast transients. I've got um, um, it on a mode called basically join the dots, so it makes a line, so we can see um, if it's jumping up and down. But I'll just get a, um, a fairly decent metal target um, here. This is what I think is happening. You get a metal target, a little can, and I'll just bang the coil with it. Okay, we'll just let it recover. It's hard to see, it's, things are happening very, very fast. So I had a fellow who left his detector on in the back of his ute, and he didn't realize, but uh, going down the road, the uh, poor old coils against the metal of the um, back of the tray and uh, it's probably doing something very much the same as that all the way down the road so i'll turn the detector off and we'll have a good look at those the peaks of the waveform there so we're, we're basically three volts or so off the um, rated breakdown voltage of the MOSFET. Now what would happen over time, uh, capacitors wear out, so we've got, uh, whoops, there we go, this one here is a uh, 200 volt rated um, electrolytic capacitor, that's across the MOSFET, 
And I think what happens as time goes on, they lose their value, lose their um, um, impedance, or the impedance um, uh, starts rising, and it can't clamp those uh, very fast transients, and it takes the uh, MOSFET out. So it's just one to be aware of. And what I've been doing, I have been replacing those MOSFETs with a new um, higher rated one, which is rated at 250 volts breakdown voltage. So it'll never probably get to 250 volts and never fail. But um, just one to be aware of that uh, that can, uh, you know, basically go short circuit at any time. It's right on the edge of its... Um, rated uh, specifications that one so uh yeah also that um probably explains why the front ends blow out occasionally because the mosfets that are used there are also rated at 200 volts and they're on the same um uh, line basically connected to the coil and getting the same voltage across them um, just after uh, transmit switch off so any transients greater um, than the 200 volts is probably stressing these things and uh, um, getting close to 200 volts, it's, it's probably, I'm looking at that, it's not really enough margin. I wouldn't call it a, a, a decent safety margin. And uh, the components you know, should be rated at a higher voltage or the clamp uh, feedback system should be um, altered to um, you know, give less um, um, clamp voltage, you know, probably down to about 160 or so, but that would probably raise a dissipation in the uh, clamping circuit and cause extra heat. So and, uh, maybe we'll have thermal failures, I don't know. But anyway, it's a quick and easy fix, just uh, put in higher rated components. Catches.